it's hiked the cost, he's hiked the crime, he's not worth the cost, he's not worth the crime after eight years. He's also not worth the hypocrisy. Mr. Speaker, the Prime Minister has been claiming for months that he had no involvement in or knowledge of the invitation of a former Nazi soldier to the visit of the Ukrainian president. Now we know that he personally invited that same individual. He actually said the opposite. And he said that the former speaker had to resign over doing the exact same thing. So will he hold himself to the very same standard and admit that he's not fit for office? Yes, Mr. Speaker, to stand and vote in favor of a free trade deal that Volodymyr Zelensky himself is asking this House to pass, and he is choosing to not stand with Ukraine, not stand with Ukrainians, and not stand with Ukrainian Canadians. Why are they abandoning Ukraine? Pierre Polyever's criticism of Justin Trudeau, focusing on Trudeau's alleged association with a former Nazi soldier. Polyever's stance highlights Trudeau's purported hypocrisy and emphasizes the need for accountability regarding moral and ethical conduct. It delves into the values underlying Polyever's assertions, questioning the worthiness of Trudeau's actions during his eight-year tenure, suggests that Trudeau's involvement in the alleged invitation could breach trust and diminish public confidence in political leaders. Additionally, accusations of neglecting Ukraine raise concerns about political integrity and consistency, as well as the impact of such decisions on international relations. Trudeau's perceived lack of understanding of Canadians' challenges further complicates the discourse. Calls for Trudeau to acknowledge his unsuitability for office reflect a desire for accountability and moral responsibility, prompting scrutiny of his political standing.